In this video, we're going to solve a problem of DPKG error and a similar problem of APT error could not get locked that happens when you're trying to install a package in a Linux Ubuntu system. I'm going to give you both industry standard solution or practice and a beginner friendly solution. Okay, let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome to ALB programming lesson. Maybe you are trying to install a downloaded package with dpkg install command. And hit the enter button. And get this error that says dpkg status database is locked. Or maybe use apt get command and try to install a package online. And get this error that says could not get lock. The root cause of these two problems are the same. It's because this file is opened by another process or a hidden program running in the background. In the remaining video, I'm going to deal with this situation. The first step is to use lsof command and find out what program or process is opening the file. Type with me. lsof space Copy this file path and paste and enter. This output is very useful, especially this PID, which means process ID. So far, we can conclude that this process is using this file, making us unable to install packages with dpkg or apt command. If you are working in a company, you need to ask yourself what this process is. You can use ps command to find out more about the process. Type with me. ps space dash e f space. Do not press any button yet. This command lists out all the running processes. This list is going to be huge and extremely long. So we need to take only what we need. So type a vertical line. It's located here on your keyboard, in case you don't know. Type another space. Grab. And this process ID, which in my case is 2119. Yours must be different. Be aware. Now I hit the enter button and run the whole command. Alright, this list is what you take and ask your coworkers or other system admins. You can ask them what they are, what they do, and most importantly, when they are going to finish. This is pretty much an industry standard practice. Once they finish, they will no longer open this file, and this error will not appear when they retry the apt command. So whether you are a system admin or a beginner in a Linux system, the principle is to terminate the process that is occupying this file. You can patiently wait for the process to finish, or you can manually terminate the process. If it's somehow stuck for too long, or you're just working on a testing machine that you don't really care. So now I'm gonna tell you how to terminate or kill a process that is running in case you are new to the Linux operating system. We will need this process ID because it's causing the whole error. Then type kill space and type the process ID. Hit the enter button. Let's see if the process is still running. Find out the ps command that we previously typed with up key or down key. It's here by the way. Well, the process that is preventing me from using the apt command is still running. The kill command didn't really work. Let's also check whether this process is still occupying the lock file. Find out this command and run. Alright, this process is still opening this file and apt command and dpkg command, I guarantee, will not work. So let's try again to kill the problematic process. Let's check again. All 
All right, looking good. No process opening the log file. That process is gone. It means I can install the package with apt command or dpkg command. By the way, this line indicates this grep. You see? The grep command also starts the process, but it doesn't affect my installation. Now let's go ahead and install the package with apt get command. Great. No error. Let's also try out the dpkg command. Looking good. Alright, if you have tried the kill command many times, but the process is kind of sticky and doesn't go away, you can try force stop with kill space dash 9 space and type the process ID. I already told you how to find the process ID. Yours is different than mine. You might get a new different process ID out of stopping the old one. This is pretty much about the first stop. And lastly, the least favorable and the worst approach is to remove the lock file which is this. To remove a file, we can use rm command like rm space the file path. This solution is bad. Do not use it too often. Of course, if you're using a testing machine just to mess with and experiment with, just do whatever you want. After removing the lock file, you can still install the package as usual. I'm not getting the error we're talking about in this lesson. In my specific case, this error is a completely different story. It's out of the scope of this lesson. Anyway, hope it helps. Thanks for watching. Peace.